We're going to be tying up a unique streamer that was inspired by Carrie Stevens' Green Hornet. To start, we'll secure some black thread to our hook shank and snip the excess free. Continue wrapping to the back of the hook and grab a jungle cock cape. We'll select these barred feathers off to the side, strip away the excess, securing them tightly to the back of the fly. Ensure that you secure them tightly and snip the excess free. We'll then wrap our thread back towards the head of the fly and grab some brassy wire. Here I'm using the color wine. Secure the wire to the hook shank and wrap back towards the tail. Set your wire off to the side. Reverse your thread's direction, wrapping back to the head of the fly. Here, we'll put in a couple turn whip finish and snip our thread free. We'll then grab some brown rayon thread and secure it to the back of the fly. Snip your excess free and begin to wrap this in closed touching spirals, creating a smooth body towards the head of the fly. This particular thread is fantastic for building up nice clean bodies. However, it's very delicate and tends to fray, so take your time in the process. Once we reach the head of the fly, put in a couple turn whip finish, snip the excess free, and if yours frays like mine, carefully use a lighter to burn away the excess. Once complete, reattach your black thread, snipping the excess free. We'll then grab our wire and begin to wrap this forward, beginning in closed touching spirals to create some durability as well as a hot spot at the back of our fly, opening up your wraps as we move towards the body, being careful to make sure they're evenly spaced. Continue to do so until you reach your thread, at which point we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the thread and helicoptering the excess furry. We'll then grab a hen cape in a green well-like pattern and select two feathers with prominent black bands, stripping away the excess and securing them carefully to the head of your fly. Once complete, snip the excess free and cover up your tag ends, using as little thread as possible in the process. We'll once again grab our jungle cock cape, select two of the feathers off to the side securing them to the side of our fly, starting with one side and then the other. Once again, snipping your excess free. Clean up the head of the fly and grab some jungle cock eyes. We'll select two eyes and secure them and secure them to the side of our fly, trying to stay in line with the barring of our previous feather. Once happy, secure it tightly and repeat the process to the other side. Snip your excess free clean up the head, and grab a deer tail. Here I've selected to use a natural color, grabbing the tan fibers from the back side of the tail. Select a small clump and secure it to the bottom of your fly. Snip your excess free and clean up the head of the fly. Whip finish for durability and snip the excess free. And in true Carrie Stevens fashion, we are gonna create a hot spot on the head of our fly. Whip finish, snip your excess free, painting it with some UV resin to secure it tightly. And this is a freestyle fly that I've actually never fished. However, since yesterday was Carrie Stevens' birthday, I decided to have a little fun and tie a classic streamer pattern. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.